is the Bison Football Show with Coach Matt Ince. Brought to you by Gate City Bank and Pepsi. Hey friends, welcome back to another week here. Week number two now in the books. I'm Rob Pip, voice of the Bison. Now joined by head football coach Matt Ince as we're here on the Matt Ince Football Show. Coach, another big win here in week number two. 43-3 versus a Carolina A&T team that came in. There was a little bit of hype last week. They had a letdown, so maybe a rebound today. But your team showed up big. Your thoughts on this ball game? Well, I thought we... We challenged our kids to start fast and feel like for the most part we did. A huge return, got us going. Um, defense gave up a, a field goal in the red zone and we, we kind of always pride ourselves on field goals won't get you beat. And after that, there was a lot of a lot of plays being made by a number of players today and uh, it's always exciting to be able to get a win. Anytime you're plus three in the turnover battle, that's always a good sign statistically. That shows, okay, you should win a game. Time of possession though, it was in favor of North Carolina A&T but your defense showing up huge again. You've got to be proud with those guys. Well, anytime you can score two touchdowns defensively, uh, offensively, you just weren't on the field very much because of the, the turnovers and the quick scores. Um, it, it'd be nice to be able to get some more plays out there. We need some more live reps in game type situations. But when the offense was out there, I thought they did a good job, and I really liked our young kids late in the game. Yeah, and going back to the offense, around 48 plays or so, from you as a head coach, where do you really want to see? Do you put an emphasis on a number of plays on the offense? No, we don't really put an emphasis on the on the some number of plays, but the, the number we like to look at is 50 combined rushing attempts and completions. If we hit that number, we feel like we have a pretty good uh, statistical advantage to win games. Coach, you know me, I always like to be pretty positive, but one thing I do got to talk about, the missed tackles, maybe a little miscues in this ball game. How do you work on cleaning those up as you head into a, a tough week coming up next week? Well, just like you would anytime, we're going to try to emulate and, and uh, uh, rep just tackling situations that, that showed up. Uh, I, I, I'm with you, Rob. The, the best play they had today was a missed tackle by the Bison. Um, you know, but at the same time, uh, I thought our kids played hard. I thought our kids adjusted. And I thought we had some young kids play really good for us today. Crowd showing up uh, big again. We saw the student section completely filled. You as a coach, you know how Bison Nation gets behind this team. How much does that mean to you? And more importantly, how much does it mean to your players and the energy it brings? Well, the student section, again, two weeks in a row, you know, packed house over there, no tickets left over. Uh, I had opportunity today for after our pregame, I walked back um, kind of usually by myself, but I ended up finding myself in the middle of about 50 uh, college students today who were heading over to tailgating, and they seemed like they were ready to have a good time. So uh, I love the fact that our student section are getting behind our team, and um, Bison Nation does it better than anybody, and it's always fun to play at home. It was a victory today for NDSU, 43-3 over Carolina A&T. Let's take a look at the first half highlights brought to you by Gate City Bank. Sit back, folks. Here's some Bison football for you on WDAY. Johnson will bring it out a couple yards deep in his own end zone. Tries to get to the outside here. He's got to move as he comes back inside. Still on his feet. Finally tripped up almost to midfield. Kobe Johnson with an electric run. Play fake here. Miller, look at the time over the middle. Wide open is Mathis. Sack Mathis for a touchdown. Two for two for the man from Tampa. More shifting, more as double Cole tight Payton end. Peyton is in a quarterback as well as they'll bring him in. And Peyton is in for a touchdown. The third career touchdown for Cole Peyton as they bring him in. And we're losing a lot in a lot of different ways. A little jet sweep here. This is DJ Hart with some running room, and he's still on his feet. Hart breaking into the open field, all the way down to the 15-yard line. The biggest play for that young man in his Bison career. Showing blitz again, Dom. Jaeger, wagey, wagey. Ball. That ball's loose and recovered by Tony Pierce. Spencer Wagey told us pregame he wanted to bring it. He has done it so far. In the second, Lipke spread out over the middle. That's caught right to Lipke for the touchdown. The touchdown streak continues. Five straight games with a touchdown. Jaeger, by the way, getting his second straight series at quarterback for North Carolina A&T. Want to dump this off. There's a penalty fight. Wow. It's intercepted. That's picked up by Kayser. He's going to run it back all the way down to the one-yard line. At the one-yard line. And now NDSU in position here. Lipke walks in. Touchdown. Touchdown. 
You well, like those one play, one yard drives. Yeah. Now third and 22. No Fowler, blitz. down he goes! Spencer Wagey! No blitz. Just bring it. Gain of seven, makes it second down and three. They'll go right back to TK Marshall, leaping into the end zone for a touchdown! His first career touchdown inside the dome. And the Bison have expanded the lead here to 35 to three. Let's take a look at the first half stats presented by Nodak Insurance. Coach, we go back to the first half. NDSU, 15 rushes, 91 yards. The rushing game has always been a staple. It was a little bit tougher in this ball game. Your thoughts on that? Well, it, it might have been. They were they played really hard up front. Uh, their 4-2-5 defense. I thought they had a penetrating defensive line, but we did take care of. We had some big explosive plays in the past game, and that was fun to see. Uh, you know, again, uh, being multiple offensively is always, I think, a positive, especially for the Bison. Kind of going into that passing game, 102 yards. Cam Miller had a lot of action in that first half. 7-11, 102 yards. A much better performance by him. Two touchdowns. Have to be impressed with what you saw from him in that first half. I was. Uh, you know, I thought he did a really good job. But Cam is. A, he practices like a pro, he prepares like a pro, and so when he has success, it, it doesn't surprise me. He's a, he's a tremendous young man, he's a son of a coach, and, and he knows what it takes to be a winner. Got to be happy with James Kayser's performance as well. We talk a lot about offense. I want to give those defensive guys some love. Phil Hansen will appreciate that. James yep. Kayser, uh, five tackles in this ball game. How impressed were you with his performance and some of the other guys on defense? Well, James played really well, especially early in the game. Huge interception on the screen. Uh, they were trying to run like a tunnel screen on the third down. Uh, you know, we had it snuffed out and be able to take the ball away from the receiver and finish in the end zone it was a headsy play by him. But you know, James is a is a is a senior. He's played a lot of football. Uh, he's back battled through some injuries, and it's always fun to see him having success right now. Zach Mathis, another grab in that first half, another career touchdown, his second. He has to be ecstatic. Well, he is. I mean, he's healthy right now. He's having success. He's uh, all the all the trials that he's worked through. It's fun. And can't put that ball right where Zach was the only one in the in the stadium that probably could have caught it being 6'6 and right across the middle. We'll have the second half highlights right after this. Teamwork, talent, dedication, leadership. These values that win championships on the field also build community, improve lives, a difference every single day for you for our neighbors for our community for a better way of life Gate City Bank I live for adventure whether it's playing professional football or the solitude of being in the great outdoors. Through all my adventures, one thing I do know, life is unpredictable and full of change. Thankfully, some things remain the same. Important things like service, quality, expertise, and trust. From my childhood to today, Shields has my trust because it has been right there with me for all my adventures. Shields, right there with you. For decades, Nodak Insurance Company has been serving our state's residents. 
in good times and challenging times. We come together for the greater good, from simple acts of kindness to company-wide efforts that make a difference in our community. It's who we are, rooted in North Dakota and ready to serve when it matters most. Nodak Insurance Company, agents with answers. Welcome back, friends. Rob Hip here on the Madden's Football Show. Of course, the Bison victorious 43-3 to over North Carolina A&T. We talked about first half. Coach, second half, offense didn't get a score, but defense came out looking strong. Uh, we mentioned that a little bit earlier. I've already asked you, but the defense continues to be a dominant force here. Code Green really starting to show some great effort in the second game of the season. No, I thought we did a good job, and there's always things that you can continue to improve on, but uh, you know, Jackson Dutton after punching that ball out. Uh, Dawson Weber just the thing took the perfect bounce and being able to return that for a touchdown. Uh, you know, offensively, they weren't on the field a whole lot. All of a sudden, that, that, that creates kind of a unique, like we said earlier, um, the stats don't really uh, tell the whole story uh, just because our offense wasn't on the field as much, especially with three turnovers during the day. We'll talk about Spencer Wagey here in a little bit, but I did want to get some early reaction from you. He had a phenomenal game. He's a guy that continues to mold and develop with this team as well this early season. Well, you know, Spencer's, he's played really well for us in the past and, and, and battled through an injury a year ago in, in game three and uh, has done everything that we've asked, continues to uh, to practice unbelievably hard. He models what it looks like to be a bison. And for him to have success is great. Our seniors deserve it, and, and that's a big piece of, of what motivates us every year is our senior class. When you put up the score early in that first half, it gives the second team players a lot of opportunities in the second half. Once again, saw Cole Payton. He's a guy that I've had on my radar from mm -hmm. the moment I've gotten here. Four of four passing. He had a good game as well. Are you continuing to like what you're seeing from him? I am. Uh, you know, Cole's a, a real headsy player. Coach Edberg and Coach Roll do an outstanding job with him and he prepares as if he were the starter and so for him to go four for four with about 40 yards rushing he's a big physical quarterback that can carry the football and I'm excited about his potential and and how we can continue to try to utilize all of our tools on offense I know that you've already talked about Dawson Weber but I wanted to swing back he was a guy he calls me Mr. Hip. The respect from these young men, Coach, is unbelievable. I know that starts from the right. top down, but, you know, here he is again week two, this time a 79-yard return. How excited has he been on the sideline? I mean, he's got to just be going nuts whenever this happens. Oh, he is. He's a, he's a, he's a tightly wound bundle of energy. Uh, but I told him early in the game, he, he dropped that one pick six that he should have had. I said, you owe me one. And, and seldom does it ever work out, but he did get one back for me, and uh, it was exciting. Uh, you know, our kid, you know, it doesn't happen often that defenses get a score, and to do it twice in a game is pretty unique. Coach telling him he wanted one. Next time, tell him you owe me two, and we'll see what happens. <laughs> right. Well, let's take a look at second half highlights presented by Gate City Bank. Our score and a first down is Fowler gets this one brought down immediately with Darcyk with another big time hit. Yeah, Julie. Julian's a hard-nosed player, isn't he? That, that's a heck of a play. At that defensive tackle spot, in now for the injured Eli Mostard. On a third down and eight. Fowler waiting. Now trying to get away from pressure. Fumble on the plate. Dude never forced it. Weber scoops it up. And Dawson go. Weber going down the aisle. All the way. There's a penalty flag. This is a touchdown. I think it was a hold. I think this is this should stand. Looked like the umpire got cleaned out here as he was laying on the ground, I think, after he called the penalty. Yeah. And other FCS schools. Grace Abel, number 74 from Pierce, South Dakota. Brendan Westberg, the new center, number 77. He started three games last year for NDSU when Jalen Sundell got hurt as Peyton. Shrugs off a man, and this is why the University of Nebraska was calling. He takes this one all the way down to the 20 yard, 25 yard line. The first Western Bank and Trust down in distance on fourth and five from the 21. Fowler got to get to the 16. Lowers the shoulder there, depending on the spot. And he's short of the first down. Coach, in that second half, just seven points. Already mentioned that on the defense, but you've always got to be happy when the defense scores a touchdown. Oh, it, it, it's great. Uh, those are things that you don't plan on. Um, they're unique. They seldom happen. Uh, and, and, you know, for our defense to, to flip the field like that, to score a touchdown is, is, is tremendous. And, um, you know, we've done it two weeks in a row, and that, I think that is extremely unique.
58 yards on the ground. Most of that coming from Cole Payton in that second half. His mobility, we've already mentioned it, but he continues to find ways to run. One thing that concerns me, and it's just a quarterback, he likes to get out there and run. He doesn't slide, Coach. No, he does, and we'll, we'll continue to advise him when he can get out of bounds. I know that one uh, down around the sideline, our sideline in the second half, he probably could have you know, ducked out of bounds and avoided a big hit, but again, that's a young player trying to establish himself and, 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 and create some, some credibility with his teammates. And then finally, 22 yards on the passing side. I know the passing game, you don't really need to focus on that too much, but again, you're getting the passing game. you got to get that involved. Just your thoughts in the second half on that. Well, I thought Cole did a nice job. He hit that, uh, that dimes route for a first down uh, that extended the, the series in the second half. So, again, uh, you know, take what we needed to. We didn't need to throw the ball a whole lot in the second half. We were up already, and uh, I, it was just a great opportunity for him to operate the, the full offense you know, for a second week in a row. That's going to pay dividends down the road. Well, Logan Campbell has our NODAC insurance player of the game. Spencer Wagey, we'll go over to Logan. Standing alongside the NODAC insurance player of the game, Spencer Wagey. Spencer, we were talking before the game about you potentially getting a sack. Not only did you get a sack, but also a forced fumble. Walk me through what those plays were like for you. Yeah, you know, it's just opportunity present itself and just had to make the most of it. It kind of cut me free on that first one. And so I knew I was going to kind of have an easier hit. So I just tried to, you know, make the most out of the play, get the ball out. We've been emphasizing that all week, trying to get more uh, um, big plays like that. And just kind of got lucky and one came my way. After everything you went through, your ACL tear, your back, how are you feeling? And what was that like for you to get a forced fumble in the sack today? Uh, did a lot for the confidence, you know. Um, Last week against Drake, you know, I still thought I played a, you know, a good game, but there was still that part of me like, geez, am I still the, can I still be the same player, same, you know, effect on games? And so I just did a lot for the confidence today. Thanks so much, Spencer. Congratulations. Spencer Wagey, our NODAC insurance player of the game. Great game for Spencer Wagey. We've mentioned him already, mentioned him a lot on the broadcast on the radio side tonight. Got to be really impressed with his performance. What? Well, impressed excited uh, there's a lot of adjectives to describe it uh, you know Spencer's a, a dominant force does a great job for being 280 pounds has tremendous get off tremendous upside can play the run uh, can get after the passer and um, again uh, I love what he's doing right now we need to continue to find ways to, to isolate him so he can take advantage of some one-on-ones and he realizes he's, he's in the position that he's in for a reason have you started to see maybe some leadership come out of him for the other guys as well well he's, he's been a great leader he's always been a leader um, Spencer does it the right way. Uh, he's a bison through and through. Uh, he goes about his business, uh, models what it looks like to be a great bison, and uh, that's one of the benefits of having a sixth-year senior like him. We'll step aside and take a break. When we come back, we'll take a closer look at the freshman running back, Barika Panu. Better starts with convenience. Better starts with trust. You can trust that your pre-approval is guaranteed on closing day which is one less thing to worry about. Better starts with saving you money. No ATM fees and no minimum balances mean how you spend your money is up to you. Because at Gate City Bank, better starts with you. Gate City Bank, for a better way of life. You're all set. Did we get it? Got it. Will you be using your Shields visa today? Yep, we just got it. Thank you. Enjoy your ride. Thank you. Hi. I'd like to pay for the car behind me, too. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> May I have the check, please? We got it. Shield Visa. Do good. Feel good. Powerful and playful. Delicate and precise. Bold and carefree. It's the way you move, and it moves us. To deliver care for your whole family, to provide options beyond the expected, to help you leave pain in the past and find your way forward. Orthopedics and Sports Medicine at Sanford Health.
Welcome back to the Matt Ince Football Show. Voice of the Bison, Rob Hip here with head coach Matt Ince as the Bison victorious 43-3 in week number two. In this week's Olaf Anderson feature, WDAY's Dom Izzo takes a closer look at Bison running back Barika Penu. Keep it on the ground with Penu up the middle. Touchdown! Last Saturday's touchdown run for Penu was his first score since his senior year at Cheyenne High School in 2020. Last year was a learning lesson on the scout team. I learned to be patient. Uh, your time's going to come. Uh, you know, here they rave next man up. So if someone do get hurt, you still got to be ready. Penu has been ready since the spring. Matt Ence has raved about his ability. Really starting to, to show us why uh, he had offers from some power fives late in the process. Which has put the spotlight on the former Mustang, who has handled that in stride. I don't see it as pressure at all. Um, you know, I just keep working. I know uh, there's going to be struggles down the way, but that's what it is. Like, I knew what I was signed up for. Actually, I don't know what I was signed up for, but I knew what I was going to get myself into. What he is getting himself into is potentially more playing time. With all the running backs returning this season for NDSU, Penu knows it's about maximizing his opportunities. It's a lot different. You, you know your surroundings. You know what you're doing. You know the playbook. Especially during spring ball, you, you kind of get an aspect of what the offense is about. So, you know, coming to fall camp last year, it was kind of different because, like, new plays, new terminology, everything like that. So I think just having a year under your belt is really nice. Coach Barika Penu getting a little bit of playing time again today as a freshman. Mm -hmm. What has impressed you about him so far, and what can we expect more of? Well, I love the fact how Barika gets just downhill uh, on his run game. And so he's a very talented young man, had a couple offers, Power 5, coming out of high school. Uh, we we're fortunate to keep him here in Fargo. I think uh, he has a tremendous ceiling, huge upside. We just need to continue to develop him so he can be an every down back. Um, but he's going to continue to help us uh, throughout the year, and special teams included. Now here's the Bison football great clip, great question of the game brought to you by Great Clips. This is Gary from Grafton ask, Coach, how hard is it to play so late in the night and in the heat talking about heading to Arizona? Well, it's not something that we do very often. Um, you know, we're going to have to just come up with a good plan. Uh, logistics are going to be adjusted a little bit. We've played a few night games. Uh, last year we played at Towson. That was a night game. Uh, extremely warm there as well, humid. Um, you know, first thing, we got to make sure our kids are hydrated all week long, and uh, we'll get out there on Friday, and then uh, we'll get them up, get them moving around, and, and, and try to make sure we're as prepared as possible. Well, coming up, we'll take a look at that trip for NDSU to Arizona. We'll talk about that heat when we come back. This one's for every sports fan who just spent the entire game explaining to someone the entire game. You've compromised enough. Pepsi Zero Sugar. This is Jack. Jack loves sports, and since he banks at Gate City Bank, he can show his spirit right on his debit card. Even better, Gate City Bank will donate $10 to his favorite local school. And when Jack's friends cheer on their favorite teams, those schools receive $10 too. Plus, Jack and his friends score every day with free ATMs worldwide. Now that's always a win. Gate City Bank, for a better way of life. As archers, we know our best shot starts in the mind. We need to shoot with complete control and confidence, or don't shoot at all. It's about determination and practice to get the process right. Find your grip, draw to anchor, let your pin float over the target, and then keep pulling straight back, continuing through to the release. From grip to release, let's get you dialed. Shields. Bison Nation, this is head football coach Matt Entz. With all that goes into leading the Bison to victory, the last thing I want to worry about is the clothing I need to look and feel my best. I shop at Halberstadt's West Acres because I trust that they provide me with everything I need for meetings at the office, press conferences, and casual Bison attire. With plenty of options for sport. 
coats, shirts, denim, suits, shoes, and accessories, I'm confident that when I need anything and everything menswear, Halberstadt's West Acres has me covered. Another Rock and Roll Weekend. Burgers, better with Pepsi. Hey friends, welcome back to the Mad Ants football show as we now look ahead to Arizona. It is the seventh time that the Bison will face an FBS opponent trying to make it 7-0 at least in the last seven games rather. Uh, coach, that game not going to be on WDAY. It will be on Fox Sports 1. Of course, we'll have the radio coverage. Kind of your early thoughts heading into that one. Well, it, extremely early right now. I mean, we're just getting done with the game. Uh, we know it's going to be a challenge. Uh, our kids are excited about it. I know just the buzz in the locker room after the game. Uh, you could tell that uh, uh, a number of our kids have looked towards this game. Uh, we don't get to play FBS teams every year, so I think uh, we got to have a great week of prep. Uh, they, they look like be improved just based on scores that I've seen, and uh, we'll have our hands full going into it. Arizona only one win a year ago, but this team does have some storied success if you go back many years. But when you're going up against an FBS opponent, I know any game, it doesn't matter. You don't look at those numbers. You just look at who you've got to play. I know that it's very early, but you're attacking another FBS opponent. Seems like a lot of FBS schools don't want to go up against NDSU. Kind of your thoughts on that and, and what can we can expect of this Arizona game? Well, I think Arizona's probably a little bit of a tempo team. Uh, I'm sure they have some tremendous skill kids. Uh, sounds like that they have a... Uh, a number of, of young men that have transferred in so you're going to see an influx of talent and we're gonna to have to just have a great plan on both sides of the football and we need to find a way to steal a, a possession or two uh, and hopefully we can make it close late in the game that game getting off very late so i got to ask you it's the first travel game of the season as well what kind of plays into that with the players as you guys are heading over and what does that preparation look like coach well we're going to probably go back and look at a plan that we've utilized before towson from last season uh, we've had other night games uh, that we've played on the road down at Western Illinois a few times. So we'll probably take what we thought was the best plan uh, and try to put it to, you know, just based on the time that we start the game, 8 o'clock Pacific. Um, th there'll be some unique scheduling, but we'll try to let our kids maybe sleep in a little bit on, on Friday and then get them up and have some walk through and, and, and get their attention and get them going. Just for Bison Nation, I got to ask, always like traveling, what's the food looking like for this trip, Coach? I, I, it's too early to say. You'd have to ask uh, our nutritionist, ask Coach Kramer. Those guys know. Awesome. Well, I got to be careful. I gained a lot of weight in my <laughs> travels before, Coach. So, right. well, thank you. Looking forward to that one. Going to be a great matchup. Again, you can catch that on Fox Sports 1. You can also listen to it uh, live on the Bison Radio Network. So, looking forward to that game, Coach. You bet. Appreciate it. Well, this wraps up the Mad Ends football show for week number two. We'll see you again week number three coming up. And as always, friends, want to remind you, horns up and go Bison. Today's Bison football show with Coach Matt Entz has been presented by Gate City Bank and Pepsi. This has been an exclusive presentation from Learfield.